much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or bonsoir, mesdames, messieurs. We would say Milwaukee. <clears throat> now, welcome and bienvenue, welcome, friend, étranger, stranger. Click, click, Suzanne, je suis enchanté. Happy to see you, bleib rest, stay. Welcome and bienvenue, welcome. Im cabaret, au cabaret, to cabaret. Oh, it's good to be here. Gee, but it's good to be here. Frankly, I feel right at home. This is the champagne with all the fizz. Here is where the excitement is. Gee, but it's good to be here. I really feel in rare form. There's nothing like this, not anywhere. There's a magic that's in the air. I'm so ecstatic. I could shout. I could yell it out. To be emphatic, what's not to be happy about? Gee, but it's good to be here. Wouldn't miss this for the world. It's my considered opinion that the place to be is the place I'm at right here at Le Motion. I couldn't be more sincere. Oh, gee, but it's good to be here. Now that you've seen this, I'll take it off. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Charles? <laughs> and, and show the expensive side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now spread it apart so it looks very lush and very big. Oh, how sweet. Thank you. The rose, the Hildegard rose. Summer knows the summer's wise and unashamed she sheds her clothes. to me since you are mine I rule the night I own the moon I tell the stars when to shine each time we kiss I can't control the dreams that start the world outside will never know how much I mean to your heart
but it's just one of those songs that you hear now and then. You don't know just where, you don't know just when. It's one of those songs that are over and then. It's one of those songs that start playing again, but it's just one of those songs that you hear for a while. It comes into fashion, then goes out of style. It's one of those songs that you think you forgot, but it's one of those songs you cannot. shed a tear. <laughs> You'll find that one part of your lifetime belongs to one of those wonderful, wonderful, wonderful songs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Well, you know, these lights are pretty strong, so I got thirsty much faster than I thought I would. So we'll have to have a little, you know, a little water because she's thirsty. Uh, Charles, when I'd swallow, then you give me a little swallowing music. <laughs> a little more emphasis. You know, this is wonderful water. I just love it. It's so pure. It's so wonderful. It's from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yeah, Mountain Valley water. <laughs> uh, sweet little thing, isn't it? Yeah. The reason why I praise it is because I'm my vice president of the company. <laughs> uh, there we are. Um, okay. Yes, come on, you can laugh. Now, let's see, I'm just going to check on something. How does she look? Well, get her. Get her. <laughs> she looks just like Doris Day's mother. On second thought, Phyllis Diller, here we come. <laughs> and they're all mine, too. <laughs> all mine, ex <laughs> except two. <laughs> I can never find those two caps. Anyway, well, it, it's um, really amazing. I, I sort of surprised myself when I stopped to think that I have been in show business 51 years. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> wonderful? I, I really didn't expect that, but I love it. Um, it's true, uh, 51, I suppose some of you people out there are wondering, uh, I wonder how old she is. Haha, <laughs> I know the mentalities. No, well, she's actually 49. <laughs> yes, if Jack Benny made 39 famous, I make 49 famous. <laughs> I'll settle for 59. Well, as Jack Benny said, he doesn't care. He didn't care too much about age. He, he said, age is a state of mind, and I mind it. <laughs> That's what he said. Well, let me, so, let me look at you people. Have you dined well? Did you enjoy your food? I hear the food is excellent here. Did you love your food too? Oh, I'm so glad. I envy you people having dined. You look so contented, and I'm so miserable. It's just that I have lost my appetite, I guess, nerves and anticipation and that sort of thing. It's just terrible. I just completely have no appetite. I used to fill that up. <laughs> just as well it's not. But um, I just haven't been able to eat. Eat is the cue, Charles. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> As I was saying, I haven't been able to eat, and my head is reeling. No, it's reeling a little more than that, dear. 
And I'm not what I used to be. That's the thing that kills me. No, I take it back. I'm just as good as ever, if not better. <laughs> but, but, I, thank you. but I really don't mind this dizzy feeling because, darling, you're what's the matter with me. Beautiful. One look at you, my heart goes zing. One look at you, it starts to sing. Now I can see what's wrong with me. One look at you, my heart goes boom. Angels start zooming round the room. But now I know this is so, that the zooming and the booming only means that is true when I say I'm in love with you. Oh, my voice is changing. <laughs> Boom, la da, mon coeur, this is French. Mais ça fait boom, ya tout bonheur. J'entends tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. Charmant tic tac, tic tac, tic tac. Et ça fait boom, la da, mon coeur. Un drôle de boom, ma l'intérieur. Et les beaux jours sont si doux. J'écoute, je redoute ces petits chocs. I sort of feel in a very French mood, and I can't resist telling you people about the first French song that I sang when I started my career in Paris. Paris, France, not Kentucky. <laughs> and and the, it's a wonderful song, people. Please, dear people. It's complicated. I'm surprised that I even could learn it. But this is the first French song I ever sing, song sang. Dis-moi oui, dis-moi non, dis-moi oui ou non. Mais je t'en prie, ne me laisse pas danser un bras. Est-ce oui, est-ce non? Si c'est oui, c'est bon. Si c'est non, je m'évanouis. Alors dis-moi oui. Ah oui, ça serait si gentil. Ah non, ça ne serait pas mignon. How about that? That's all right. Here is a song from the Ch a mu a musical that was called Chicago. It only closed a few months ago. It had a two and a half year run, I think, on Broadway. Chicago, you've heard of Chicago, huh? Yeah, suburb of Milwaukee. This a song is about how to get to the top. Give him the old razzle dazzle, razzle dazzle em. Give him an act with lots of flash in it, and the reaction will be passionate. Give him the old hocus pocus, feet and feather em. How can they see with sequins in their eyes? What if your hinges are all rusting? What if, in fact, you're just disgusting? Razzle dazzle them, and they'll never catch wise. Dazzle, razzle, dazzle them. Back since the days of old Methuselah, everyone loves the big bamboozler. Give him the old three ring circus stunt and stagger them. When you're in trouble, go into your dance. Though you are stiffer than a girder, they'll let you get away with murder. Razzle, dazzle them, and you've got a romance. Receive 
unbelievable, given the all. Mumbo Jumbo, Jar and Jake alone. How can they think when firecrackers pop, pop away, pop away, pop away, pop away, where's the light, where's the light? Cheat with a plum, and they'll adore it. Make them feel dumb, they'll love you for it. Razzle dazzle them, razzle dazzle them, razzle dazzle them, woo! And you get to the top. And it's the last thing I do, I'm going to get my top note. And I'll get to the top. tired voice. Just think what I do when I'm not tired. Oh, I'm just fantastic. Uh, oh, yes. This poor little flower is going to wilt like I am. These lights are pretty strong, but I love them. Did you give me the note? I gave the note. I don't remember what day it was. I didn't notice what time it was. All I know is that I fell in love with you. And if all my dreams come true, I'll be spending time with you. Every day's a new day in love with you. Each day comes a new way of loving you. Every time I kiss your lips, my mind starts to wander. And if all my dreams come true, I'll be spending time with you. I love you more today than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. Darling, not as much as tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Tomorrow's day to me is springtime's just a day away. Now, Cupid, we don't need you now. You just go on your way. I thank the Lord for love like ours that grows ever stronger. And if all my dreams come true, I'll be spending time with you. I love you more today than yesterday, but not as much as tomorrow. I love you more today than yesterday, but darling, not as much as tomorrow. Every day's a new day. Every time I love you. Every way's a new way. Every time I love you. Every time I love you. I love you more today than yesterday. But darling, not as much as tomorrow. Yes, I do, indeed, I do, I do. Thank you very much. Bless you, bless you. Consider yourselves blessed. You know, my dear people, <laughs> you know, I once had a radio program. It was quite some years ago. It was called the Raleigh Room. And, oh, you remember it. Good. I had marvelous stars like uh, Tallulah Bankett and, and uh, Walter Houston, Bert Lahr, Irving Berlin, and Dorothy Kilgan. Oh, you just name them. I had them. 
not what you think, but I've had them. Uh, and it was a wonderful program. Must say, I was very proud of it. And the, my writers were also stars in their way, but they didn't get to be real stars until later on. The writers of my program were uh, J, um, Alan J. Lerner, who afterwards wrote My Fair Lady, and also Joseph Stein, who wrote Fiddler on the Roof. They were my writers, and they wrote my jokes. <laughs> jokes, I call them. Yes. Now that gives me an excuse to tell some jokes. Yes, sometimes my jokes uh, actually bomb, and I, then I get the gong, and then sometimes they are hilarious. And I get the first joke, joke number A, is about Johnny and his mother. Johnny goes, yeah, rather, Johnny does not go, he's in the bedroom. His mother goes to Johnny's bedroom door, and she raps on the door, and she says, come on, Johnny, it's time to get to school, get up. And uh, Johnny said, I don't want to go to school. And his mother said, now, Johnny, you've got to go to school. Come on, get up and go. Come. And Johnny said, I don't want to go to school today. The kids all make fun of me, and they call me names. And his mother said, well, I'm sorry about that, Johnny, but you have to go to school anyway. You know that. And so Johnny said, well, give me two good reasons why I have to go to school. And so she said, well, first of all, you're 46 years old. Secondly, you're the principal. Oh, come on, otherwise I get the gong. And I told it well. <laughs> Joke number B. <laughs> well, there's number two is B, isn't it? Maybe. Now, this is an experience, a real honest-to-goodness experience that I had in England, London. I appeared there a few years ago in my one-woman show in the West End Theater. And I always love to read the newspapers. I do it to this day. I love those papers wherever I go. And I read that every day there was a story about Queen Elizabeth on the front page. And I only had second page. And it used to annoy me. She didn't need it and I could have used it. Well, at any rate, this one day there was um, a story about the queen visiting a maternity hospital. And she went to this, you know, to the ward and she passed by the one bed and she said, how do you do, young lady? Uh, tell me, please, young lady, when is your baby due? And uh, the young lady said, your majesty, my baby is due April the 23rd. Very good. So she went to the next bed and she said, and tell me, when is your baby due? And the young lady said, uh, April 23rd. And she went to the next bed, and she said, and, and is your baby also due April 23rd? The young lady said, yes, Your Majesty, April 23rd. And she went to the fourth bed, and she said, uh, and when is your baby due? April 23rd? And the young lady said, no, Your Majesty, I was not at that picnic. <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs> I don't care. They're going to stay in because I love telling them. <laughs> Just if, if you're not careful, I'll tell about the potato. <laughs> my dear people, I would like to sing my lovely songs. Oh, Charles, take away the, the uh, bottle because it obliterates my face. <laughs> yeah, obliterates. I'm now going to sing these lovely songs that I'm so proud to say I first introduced and uh, recorded. These great songs that are still with me these, this day to now. And uh, I've been doing them ever since World, which war was that now? <laughs> oh yes, the Second World War. <laughs> Let's get that straight. And um, uh, I will sing these songs, of course. But um, before I go into these songs, I was speaking about newspapers, remember? Well, um, recently, there was an article in uh, Earl Wilson's column. And it said that I was going to be in a movie and play an elegant madam. Mm, that's right. Well, there, was, there must have been some mistake.
mix-up or something, a misunderstanding. Uh, Earl must have thought, uh, was misinformed. He must have been thinking of uh, Wayland Flowers. <laughs> and so uh, just wanted to get that out. I, I, didn't, I didn't get the part. <laughs> After all, you know, it wouldn't be quite um, right, I don't think, because uh, um, Rex Reed called me the uh, High Priestess of Camp. And, uh, and uh, uh, who else was it that, uh, oh, Earl Blackwell called me the Mother Superior of the nightclubs. <laughs> so it doesn't quite, does it? Very well. Getting back to the songs that I introduced. If some of you remember them, I wish you'd let me sense that. I love to feel that you do remember these. The last time I saw Paris, her, her heart was warm and gay. I heard the laughter of her heart in every street cafe. I dodged the same old taxi cabs that I had dodged for years. The chorus of their squeaky horns was music to my ears. Oh, the last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. No matter how they change her, I'll remember her that way I'll be seeing you in all, in all the old familiar places that this heart of mine embraces all day through. That small cafe, the park across the way, the children's carousel, the chestnut trees, and the wishing well. I'll be seeing you in every lovely summer's day, in everything that's light and gay. I'll always think of you that way. I'll find you in the morning sun. And when the night is new, I'll be looking at the moon, but I'll be seeing you. Darling, je vous aime beaucoup. Je ne sais pas, je ne sais pas what to do. Vous avez completely stolen my heart. Matin, midi, et le soir, toujours wondering how you are. And that's the way I felt right from the start. Ah, chérie, my love for you is très, très fort. I wish my French were good enough. I tell you so much more. May je spare that you compris all the little things you mean to me, darling. Je vous aime beaucoup. I love you. Yes, I do. Underneath the lamppost by the very gate. And Standing all alone, standing all alone, every night you see her wait. 
she waits for the boy who marched away and though he's gone you'll hear him say oh promise you'll be true fare thee well lily marlene till i come back to you fare thee well lily marlene Unsere beiden Schatten sahen wir eine raus. Dass wir so lieb uns hatten, sah man gleich daraus. Und alle Leute sollen es sehen, dass wir bei der Laterne stehen. Wie einst, Lily Marlene, wie einst, Lily Marlene. Till I come back to you, fare thee well, Lily Marlene, fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> so much bless you all uh, now that um, I'm sort of getting tired of this gown and I'm I am going to change it not here but out there <laughs> Ooh, isn't that something not at these prices not at these prices and um, oh, stick it back some now uh, oh yes of course now I tell you what I'm gonna do to my people I'm going to go and change my gown in the meantime you all talk about me and I'll be back very shortly I really mean it and in the meantime Charles is going to play some changing music aren't you Charles you yeah. better <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much. I say good evening to you, and as I said before, bonsoir, mesdames, messieurs, we would say in Milwaukee. Oh. I wanted that to go over better, but it didn't. Um, now, the reason, the reason why I'm here is, is to entertain you. It's as simple as all that. And I like my entertainment because I get paid for it. So let me entertain you. Let me see a smile. Let me see the smile. Open, open. Teeth, teeth. Come on, teeth. Come on, tell. Dentures. Teeth. Make dentures. No, I don't want them. <laughs> Make like Jimmy Carter. <laughs> Let me do a few tricks. Some old. And then some new tricks. I'm very versatile. And if you're real good, I'll make you feel good. I want your spirits to climb so high. Higher, Charles. That's the end of the keyboard. That's no excuse. <laughs> so let me entertain you, and we'll have a real good time. Yes, sir. And we'll have a real good time. Sweet, but that was a segue. No applause, you destroy it. Now, now comes the philosophy. Say there, if you are a vexed one, a weary and dreary perplexed one, I've got troubles. Oh, I, I mean, oh, have I got troubles? And you've got troubles, no doubt. And you're no better than the next one. You will find your share of bliss. If you'll just remember this. Uh, 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 uh. Flat, huh? <laughs> you, you can't have everything. Be satisfied with a little you may get. You can't have everything. Don't envy neighbors and the fortunes that they get. Live and laugh and listen. Don't be greedy. Help the needy, and you gotta get lucky, yes, indeedy. Rich man, poor man, beggar or king. You just can't have everything. So thank your stars above for a song in your heart, a penny in your pocket, and someone in your arms to love. Keep your sunny side up, up. Hide the side that gets blue, blue. If you've got nine sons in a row, baseball teams make money, you know. Keep your funny side up, up. Let your laughter come through. Do stand upon your legs. Be like two fried eggs. Keep your sunny side up, yes. When your world's upside down, what will cure every frown? Cheer up, cheer up. If it's love that you miss, take a big sip of this. Cheer up, cheer up. It's a magic potion for days when rain begins to pour. What is it I'm singing of? Just a recipe of love. Touche le mot, touche le mot, touche le mot. When your heart breaks this way, what will mend it today? A new love, that's cheer up syrup. Oh, by the way, are there any people here from New Jersey? Come on, action, reaction. No. Well, isn't that strange? Well, you see, this melody of this song was a very famous melody that went along with the famous Palisades Amusement Park in New Jersey. That's right. And the melody was Oh, you have no idea. And it was on the radio all the time, every 10 minutes, and the song was written by Gladys Shelley herself. And my, oh my, this, and let's try it, just to give it an example, Charles, yes? Palisades has the rides, Palisades has the fun. Come on, over. Take the coaster, get cool in the waves, in the pool. Come on, over. Oh, that's enough. I can't stand it. It's corny. <laughs> the modern version. When your world's upside down, what will cure every frown? Cheer 
syrup. What? Syrup. If it's love that you miss, take a big schluck. I mean, sip of this. Cheer up, syrup. Now, shh, the show is on and I am it. Now, what is cheer up, syrup, guys? Well, it's when stocks begin to rise. <laughs> and what is cheer up, syrup, girls? Ooh, it's diamonds, sables, and pearls, and a couple emeralds thrown in. When your heart breaks this way, what will mend it today? A new love that's cheer up, syrup. Have a fling, everybody. Cheer up, syrup. Whee! Cheer up, syrup. Now that you've seen us, I'll take it off. Oh, yes, and Charles, show the expensive side, not the lining. Oh, yeah, oh, I love this. Oh, yeah, back to the piano. If I don't sit up, I have to stand up, I have to sit down. I'm so glad I wear gloves because it's so chilly up here. <laughs> My dear people, I have a very beautiful song that I don't think you have heard because I think I discovered it in an old songbook written by Jerome Kern and Dorothy Fields. And it's such a lovely little thing. And please forgive me if I tell you that this song and the one that follows is from my latest album. It's included in my album, along with all of the lovely songs I introduced. Now, the album is called What I Did for Love. Mm -hmm. And uh, so forgive me if I'm a little commercial, but uh, if I didn't tell you this, how would you know? <laughs> Once April fooled me with an afternoon so gold, so warm, so beguiling that I thought the drought worth would wake up smiling. But April fooled me then, the night was cold. Once someone fooled me with a kiss that touched my heart beyond all believing. But like April, that sweet moment was deceiving. It was not spring or every dew. You were a light, you too. Restless April fooled me. Darling, so did you. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Trying to forget my feelings of love. I 
Thank you. I have a scandalous something to offer you, and I'm not going to tell you until I start. And oh, by the way, I wrote the music of this song. <laughs> Big deal. In Trinidad, there lived a family. With much confusion, as you will see, there was a mama and a papa, and a son who was grown, who wanted to marry, have a life of his own. So he looked around till he found someone nice, and he went to his papa to ask his advice. And his papa said, sorry, son, but I got to say no. That girl is your sister, but your mama don't know. It's not going. Ah, woe is me, shame and scandal in the family. Ah, woe is me, shame in the family. As the weeks went by, the boy kept looking around. Soon the best cook on the island he found. And he went to his papa to name the day. And his papa looked at him, and here's what he say. I'm sorry, son, but I got to say no. That girl is your sister, but your mama don't know. Ah, woe is me, shame and scandal in the family. Ah, woe is me, shame in the family. As the years went by, the boy he wished he was dead. Seventeen girls, still he wasn't wed. Go to his papa. Papa always say, no, that girl is your sister, but your mama don't know. So he went to his mama, and he bowed his head, and he told his mama what his papa had said. And his mama said, son, go, man, go. Your papa ain't your papa, but your papa don't know. Yeah! Thank you. Oh, that's funny. I, I mean, it's not so funny, I guess. <laughs> I want it to be funny, but it isn't very funny. Whoops, oops, oops, oops. Ha, 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 yourself. Now, now, I know that our president, uh, President, uh, what's his name? That, I know. I, don't, I just want to know if you know. You know it. Anyway, I think he's doing a fine job. He's still groping, but he's, he's doing a good job. And, uh, but he has a philosophy about life and about what is going to happen to this country. And I agree with his philosophy, and it's the strangest thing. I am going to sing his philosophy, which is my philosophy, which is also Gladys Shelley's philosophy. There, I said it. feeling there'll be fine times when 
we go back, go back to love again. We're gonna have a lot of fine times when we go They just made us wake up. They said, get back, get back to love again. I guess it's good we got that shake up. So we go back, go back to love again. Now look at us, out on that old limb, blaming fate and looking grim, letting rainbow slip away instead of making hay each day. We're gonna wake up, wake up singing when we go back, go back to love again. So put your hand in my hand, baby, and we'll go back, go back to love again. Now look at us, out on our old limb, blaming fate. Not only do we blame fate, we blame the weather, or we will blame inflation, or taxes, or, well, you name it, and a headache, yeah. And, uh, and, and Wall Street and all that. And, uh, and the thing that is unforgivable, and that is letting all those beautiful rainbows slip away. Instead of making hay each day, hey, hey, we're gonna wake up, wake up singing. When we go back, go back to love again. So put your hand in my hand, baby. So put your hand in my hand, baby. So put your hand, not you. So put your hand in my hand, baby. Isn't there some man here with gray hair? <laughs> what? He's got great hair, he said. Well, it just may be you. It may not be gray. So, so put your hand in my hand, baby. Shh. What do you do with the hand, young man? That's right. How, how does it seem to kiss fabric instead of skin? <laughs> no, thank you. You've got nice hands. You're artistic, aren't you? What did you say? Autistic. <laughs> oh, there. That would have been a good type over there. You're too far away. Excuse me, young man. May I ask you a personal question? Not too personal. I'm sort of inquisitive about people's vocations and what they do for a living. May I ask what you do? In the theater, I knew there was an affinity. And in what capacity? You are a director. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that when I get to direct. Could you direct me if we, it ever happens? I wish. What have you directed lately? You're directing a young lady at the moment. <laughs> and who is she? Her name is Billy? Robe. R-O-E? Oh, R-O-E? See, I give him a little plug for her, too, while we're at it. See? And has she got potential? More than potential. Now, that's quite all right with me. You just do what you have to do, and I'll do what I do, yes? Yes, and if there ever is, now you see you ladies are smoking, aren't you? Yes, we see, why should I inhale that? You should really do the inhaling. Yeah. And uh, that gentleman over there, hello there, dearie. Yes, you can't see me, I know, but if I was close to you, I would ask you to do, I would take my, your hand, you take mine, and you would, you would. You wish you could reach it, yes, but you can't. <laughs> you have to have a long arm. May I ask what your vocation is? Television. Oh. <laughs> 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 
In what capacity, sir? Or you sell films? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's good. Ah. Oh. Well, maybe you sell this one. <laughs> what, sir? Oh, yeah. expensive, expensive. Mm -hmm. Very good. Bless you both. And by the way, eat your soup because it's getting cold, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You, my, my key, my key, my key. Pay attention, young man. I'm still on with you. You've put your, oh, he's concerned about the purse. That's the way I get lift purses, you know. <laughs> Take them up with you put your hand in my hand, baby, baby. Yeah. And we'll get back, get back to love again. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, 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 oh, my water. Dismiss him, yes. We dismiss him. <laughs> what do we do now? Quickly. What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, people, people. Purple people, eaters. I see my friends Michael and Maria and John and, and Jerry and, and Ava Williams and my hairdresser, Andre, and uh, a director and a film television buyer, oh dear. My dear people, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to tell you of a remarkable of a remarkable French woman. Her name was Gabrielle Chanel. Otherwise, otherwise known as Coco. If you remember, a few years ago, there was a Broadway show called Coco, starring Catherine Hepburn. I wonder if she ever mentions my name. I don't think so. <laughs> At any rate, I want to tell you about Coco. She started her career. Now listen, gentlemen in this audience, you can learn a few things about of how fashion, you know, all about fashions and how they started from the French, like Coco. She started her career in Paris in 1906, when the world of fashion was trussed up in the Belle Epoque which means an era of laces and ruffles and elaborate hats and constricted corsets and whalebone. Personally, I prefer Playtex. <laughs> so, and she decided to emancipate women's fashions and started the basic little black dress. And then she started, oh, what else? Turtleneck sweaters. She started costume jewelry. She bobbed the hair. She started slacks for women and shoes. She changed the picture of the shoes. Then, uh, in 1930, she was worth millions because also of an added commodity called Chanel No. 5 perfume. And then, almost overnight, the world of fashion deserted her for a new, young, flamboyant Italian designer, Elsa Scaparelli. So Coco retreated bitter and disillusioned to Vichy and then to Switzerland. Coco, Coco, hoping too high, fell down from the sky and started to cry. It's the end of Coco, Coco, where is a friend to trust and depend upon? Scan the hills, break the sky, but your searching won't end till you try to learn to turn to someone.
someone who's called Coco, Coco, Coco. Then in 1954, at the age of 76, she made a dramatic comeback. And again, she's on top. Scan the hills, rake the sky, but your searching won't end till you try. Oh, learn to turn to someone who's called Coco, Coco. Get me out of it. That's right. Give it to me. Tired of being lonely. Tired of being blue Since you went away I don't know what to do Living in a make-believe world Wishing all my dreams came true, came true Tired of being lonely Tired of being blue Since you found a new love I don't know what to do Make-believe I can't forget you Smiling while I'm feeling blue My disposition will let me love somebody to do, make believe I can't forget you, smiling while I'm feeling blue. Hairdresser? Something wrong? Hmm? What do we do now? What? Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's certainly not myself, Angela. Oh, um, this is a, a, a new audience. Um, I have, uh, I want to tell you about a, a certain announcement that came, it was in the papers a few weeks ago. Um, it had it, it was in Earl Wilson's column, and uh, the announcement was that I was going to be in a motion picture. I was going to be uh, depicted as an elegant madam. So um, I'm afraid there was something, there was a mistake. The producers got me mixed up with Wayland Flowers. Well, it's information. After all, just don't think that I'm, uh, I didn't get the part. Well, I'm, I'm very disappointed. But ladies and there are so many things that I have uh, been uh, associated with. I'm never a madam before, but uh, it's all right. But I suppose you often wonder where I get the description or the adjective incomparable. Did you ever wonder that? 
Well, actually, it came from my first press agent. I paid him well. <laughs> and he dreamed it up. He got the idea, and he took it to Walter Winchell, and he said, Walter, whenever you print the name Hildegard, be sure you put incomparable in front of it. That is the way it's going to be now. And do you know he did? And the title, the appellation, uh, stuck, and I'm stuck with it, and I, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. And, uh, and then, uh, of course, people have called me other things, too. <laughs> yes, I'm, I've been called um, indefatigable. I've been called inexhaustible. I love that. Oh, and I've been called indestructible. Oh, that's great. That's great. And I've been called indispensable. Oh, I love that. And also inscrutable. Oh, I just thought of that one. And uh, Charles, have you got any more words that end with ibbles or obbles? Unpredictable. <laughs> that's good. Doesn't go over there, though. But what else? Inexpendable, yes. All those ibbles and ovals, I can, there could be so many more, but let's be modest. And, um, and then, then I often call myself uh, uncomfortable, <laughs> especially when I have a new girdle on. And then, um, and then I also call myself inexcusable. <laughs> That's darling. And um, I call myself unsinkable, too, me and Molly. <laughs> and then I call myself irrefaceable which means, according to Mr. Webster, it means incapable of being rubbed out. Oh. <laughs> now, do you know what they called me in Paris? They called me coquette and mademoiselle, and I must admit, I liked it quite well. It's something to be the darling of all, la grande femme fatale, the belle of the ball. There's nothing as gay as life in Paris. There's no other person I'd rather be. I love what I do, and I love what I see. But where is the schoolgirl that used to be me? of the day, vests of the applique, dresses of Chanton, for the yesterday, when the world was young. Le grand chevalier du cœur de Paris se rappelait plus du goût des prairies. Il faisait la guerre avec ses amis, des dons la fumée, des dons le métro. De ce des pavés, des dans les bistrots, il ne savait pas qu'il en était sous. Il ne savait pas qu'il dormait debout. Paris le tenait par là pour du coup. Ah, les premiers jours, grandes les tourelles. J'ai pas peur des loups. Chantonnez la belle. Thank you. And speaking of Webster, 
I looked up the definition of music. And I bet you haven't done that. It's really quite interesting. Mr. Webster says music is the um, art of combining sounds or sequences of notes in harmonious patterns, pleasing to the ear and satisfying to the emotions. It ain't like that today, is it? Now, I am going to depict music. I've been around forever, and I wrote the very first song. I put the words and the melodies together. I am music, and I write the songs. I write the songs, I write the songs. Oh, my music makes you dance and gives you spirit to take a chance. And I wrote some rock and roll so you can move. Music fills your heart. Well, that's a real fine place to start. It's from me, it's for you, it's from you, it's for me. It's a worldwide symphony. simple to last the whole day long. I don't worry that it's not good enough for anyone else to hear. I sing, sing a song. Don't blame you. <laughs> I must say I did that very well. Oh. oh, I have another joke, joke C. I did A and B before, now I'm gonna do a joke C, the third one. I have a limited repertoire of jokes. This is very outrageous. It originated in Cleveland. <laughs> and it has to do Oh, you've got to listen to this. Please, please, people, this is so exceptional. This is so outrageous. It has to do with two potatoes. One was a Long Island potato and the other was an Idaho potato. And they met in a sack. Well, that's a natural place. But the sack was dark and damp and cozy. And they met each other and they fell in love. And they lifted up in that sack. They really did. When they got out, they had to get married. They, 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 they got married. And after a while, I don't know how long, how long it takes in potato dumb, but uh, <laughs> after a while, they got a little sweet potato, 
That's not the end of it. No, no. And she grew up, and she went to her parents one day, and she asked their permission to get married. And they said, oh, sweet potato, this is wonderful, but who do you want to marry? And uh, she said, oh, I want to marry Walter Cronkite. And they said, what? Our sweet potato wanting to marry Walter Cronkite? Why, we will not sanction this marriage. Why, this is, I, we won't allow it. Why, he's a commentator. Oh, well, it went over better in Cleveland. <laughs> and now I have a moment. Is this my last moment at the, at the piano? Oh, you're just getting it now? Oh, delayed reaction. <laughs> I have friends here who have heard it many times, but it stays in my repertoire. I'm going to do, by special request, again, my theme song and uh, another song that I didn't do before, which is one that I introduced also and first recorded during the, one of the wars, I don't know, Second World War. And, uh, it's beautiful. All of a sudden, my heart sings. <laughs> When, when I remember little things, the way you dance and hold me tight, the way you kiss and say goodnight, the crazy things we say and do, the fun it is to be with you, remembering all those little things, all of a sudden, my heart sings. The secret way you press my hand to show me that you understand. The wind and rain upon your face. The breathless world of your embrace. Your little laugh and half surprise. The starlight gleaming in your eyes, remembering all those little things. All of a sudden, my heart sings. Darling, je vous aime beaucoup. Je ne, je ne sais pas quoi tu do. Vous avez completely stolen my heart. Matin, midi et le soir, toujours wondering how you are. And that's the way I felt right from the start. Ah, chérie, my love for you is très, très far. I wish my French were good enough. I tell you so much more. Mais j'espère that you compris all the little things you mean to me, darling. Je vous aime beaucoup. I love you, yes, I do. Oh, my darling, vous êtes très jolie. Qu'est-ce que c'est vous do to me? Absolutely, je suis in a trance. Tout le temps, j'espère que vous dream of me un petit peu too. Ah, chérie, je pense this is romance. Can you some alone and you are in my arms? Je remercie le bon Dieu for all, all your lovely charms. Dites-moi, do you love me too? Oh, 
je suis happy if you do. Darling, je vous aime beaucoup. I love you, yes, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, the trend in music today is to go back to another era. But since I've already been there, I'm way ahead of them. <laughs> so, vodio do, and away we go. Everything today makes yesterday slow. Better face reality. Men say it's criminal. What criminal do? What they're forgetting is this is 1922. In a rumble the world is so cozy. If the boys kissable and that tango dance, they wouldn't allow. Now it's quite permissible. Goodbye, good goody girl. I'm changing it how. Now, here are songs from the 20s which I did not introduce. I want you all to sing along with me, even you young ones. Come on, you young ones. You must have been told how to sing this for your grandparents. I've left my love in a avalanche. I mean, I found it, my love. Beside the bay, not the sea, the bay, the bay. I left my love in an Avalon and sailed away. I dream of him in an Avalon from dusk till the dawn. And so I think I'll. That's right. Chocolate candy and like a Oh, I'm just wild about Harry, and Harry's wild about cannot live without Harry's wild about me. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Da -da 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 -da. Nothing could be finer than to be in Caroline in the morning. No one could be sweeter than the man my sweetie in the morning. morning. Where the morning glories climb around the door, whispering pretty stories. I long to hear. Bro. 
See me sometime without her. When your world's upside down, what will cure every frown? Cheer up, what? Syrup. If it's love that you miss, take a big sip of what? Cheer up, syrup. It's a magic potion for days when rain begins to pour. What is it I'm singing of? Just a recipe of love. Do -do 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 -do. This way, what will mend it today? A new love that's cheer up, syrup. Have a fling, everybody. Good night, cheer up, syrup. Bye bye. <laughs>
microphone. You have been the most wonderful audience that I've had this week. And it's just been absolutely marvelous. And this is what I think of you, and this is what I want to convey to you. It's been grand knowing you, grand knowing you, grand being your friend. You've been kind, loyal, and so generous right up to the end. It's been grand, let me say, and let me say au revoir, not goodbye. I must run, it's been fun. Yes, it's been grand, perfectly grand. I was asked, it, was, it would be a little anticlimactic, I think, if I would sing the last time I saw Paris. Oh, 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 very good. Oh, aren't we women something so vain? All right, and there's my friend Harlan Stevens. He was so angry when I didn't do that song. He was going to just refuse to pay his check. <laughs> Very good. And I will sing it. Oh, it's a lovely song. I never get tired of it. The last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. I heard the laughter of her heart in every street cafe. The last time I saw Paris, her trees were dressed for spring, and lovers walked beneath those trees. Birds found songs to sing. I dodged the same old taxi cabs that I had dodged for years. The chorus of their squeaky horns was music to my ears. For the last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. No matter how they change her, I'll remember heart of mine embraces all day through. In that small cafe, the park across the way, the children's carousel, the chestnut trees, and the wishing well. summer's day, in everything that's light and gay, I'll always think of you that way, I'll find you in the morning sun, and when the night is near, I'll be looking at the moon, but I
I was asked, it, was, it would be a little anticlimactic, I think, if I would sing the last time I saw Paris. Oh, 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 very good. Oh, aren't we women something so vain? All right, and there's my friend Harlan Stevens. He was so angry when I didn't do that song. He was going to just refuse to pay his check. <laughs> Very good. And I will sing it. Oh, it's a lovely song. I never get tired of it. The last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. I heard the laughter of her heart in every street cafe. The last time I saw Paris, her trees were dressed for spring, and lovers walked beneath those trees. Birds found songs to sing. I dodged the same old taxi cabs that I had dodged for years. The chorus of their squeaky horns was music to my ears. For the last time I saw Paris, her heart was warm and gay. No matter how they change her, I'll remember Just to say good night. I'll be seeing you. In all the old familiar places that this heart of mine embraces all day through. In that small cafe, the park across the children's carousel, the chestnut trees, and the wishing well. I'll be seeing in every lovely summer's day, in everything that's light and 